Good evening. Welcome to Cafe Lena. Um, great to see this many people out and about. Track's over. Time for some jazz. Um, I mean, normally I'd say something, you know, politically incorrect, but. Uh, Well, it's it's hard it's it's hard for me thinking that Mexico now thinks of us as a third world country, <laughs> but but they don't have jazz like this, so we're in for a treat tonight. Um, over there, Mr. J. Anderson on the bass. Right there, uh, coming out right now, Harvey Sorgan on the drums. Our fearless leader, Mr. Chuck Lamb. Recently back from several triumphs with the uh, Brubeck brothers. And our special guest for the evening, man, I listened to his album, his latest album last night, Start to Finish, and um, it's fantastic. It's really fantastic. And then we had a very long rehearsal sound check this afternoon, and that was even better. So you're in for a major treat tonight, Mr. Lucas Pino. I have to get some gold sneakers. That's all I know about that. <laughs> yeah, right? You look good in those, Teddy. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming out, you guys. It's, uh, it's great to see you and um, really appreciate it. And I've uh, been trying to hook up with this dude for, for quite some time. And um, he was going to come last month. And then he came up with this pretty lame excuse that his wife was pregnant, she's gonna have a baby, you know, she's due right around the gig time. And you know, I said, I have a good friend that delivers babies up here. He kinda, you know, she's at the hospital. But anyway, he's a, he's a new dad. Uh, uh, yeah, man, congratulations, man, that's great. So, uh, yeah, bro, it's great to have you, man. And, um, yeah, so we're gonna start with um, this piece, uh, I hate to put you on the spot. Could, I, I'm not familiar with this tune, man. I don't know where you got it from, but this is a a standard from uh, Jimmy McHugh's songbook, and he called this one "You're a Sweetheart." You're a sweetheart. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you guys. Maestro, yeah. this is a beautiful composition that you wrote. Yeah, I wrote this tune that we're about to play. Yeah, you did, man. <laughs> <laughs> you absolutely did. It was tough to follow Jimmy McHugh, though. <laughs> uh, this tune that I wrote, well, it's funny, because Chuck and I kind of have a in intersecting uh, lives that uh, are on the, the fault line of the Brubeck uh, family. <laughs> And uh, so to digress a little bit, uh, I'll tell you that I did part of my undergraduate degree at the Brubeck Institute way back. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And um, that was way back in 2005. And I was living in Stockton, California, where uh, the man himself, Dave Brubeck, went to the University of the Pacific in Stockton. So that was at his alma mater at that time. And uh, I'll tell you this, if, when you're a jazz musician, and you're living in Stockton, California, you're wondering, what am I doing here? <laughs> you know, you're thinking, <laughs> I was wondering, what am I doing here in Stockton, California? There's more cows out here than there are saxophones. <laughs> and uh, 
but you know, that time was very formative. And so I wrote this tune about that time. And uh, it's just about accepting that sometimes you can't see the ends of all things and that sometimes you're in places and doing things that you might not quite understand, but it's where you need to be. So this tune is called Where You Need to Be. Thank you. 
Friggin' good composer, isn't this this youngster? Isn't that a beautiful piece of music? Yeah.